What's going on everyone? Got a great topic today. We're going to talk about what is insulin resistance. This is going to tie into my last video on keto basics and it's going to explain why keto and intermittent fasting are a great thing to start doing to take back your health and get all that excess weight off of you. Insulin resistance is the body's defense mechanism against excess sugar aka glucose. Insulin is what keeps the blood sugar from going too high in the body. The normal amount of sugar that we should have present in our blood is one teaspoon. But on average, the average person consumes about 31 teaspoons worth of sugar daily. And that includes the hidden sugars like bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, things like that. They all break down and turn into glucose in the body. So when you eat any kind of carbohydrate or sugar, what happens is those stimulate insulin more than fat or protein. It goes carbohydrates, protein, and then fat. And fat almost doesn't stimulate any insulin at all. But when you eat carbohydrates and sugar, they go in, turn into glucose, they raise your blood sugar, the pancreas releases insulin to take that and get the cells to open up to let the glucose in. When you're eating you know, three, four, five, six times a day, and it's a higher carbohydrate diet, which is what most people are eating, the cells get resistant to the insulin. They get to where they don't want to open up and let the glucose in. Because, as I said earlier, it's a defense mechanism because sugar is toxic in high excessive amounts. They get to where they don't want to open up no more. So then you have more sugar uh, going through the blood, more glucose, and a lot of that is going to get turned into fat. But you're having it circulating longer because it can't get into the cells. And plus you're eating multiple times a day high-carb, high-glycemic stuff. And that's going to cause a whole lot of damage. Even just half a teaspoon more chronically than the one teaspoon that's supposed to be present in our blood can cause damage over time. Obviously, this is going to cause problems like neuropathy, which is nerve damage. You're going to have diabetes, obviously. Heart damage damage to the eyes, inflammation, visceral fat, which is a buildup of fat on the inside, mainly in the gut area and around the organs, which is very dangerous. My mother actually suffers uh, from diabetes, and she has had issues like this, and uh, God bless her, she, she tries to do right, and but she still, she still has a lot of things that need addressing, but um, I've seen her suffer specifically from neuropathy, and I'm telling you, it ain't no fun from what I've seen. It is extremely, extremely painful. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that glucose is the preferred first source of fuel. Now, this is false. It's the first source of fuel, and it's what the body's going to go after first because it creates the most damage. It's the most dangerous. It puts the body into a high alert situation, if you will, and it has to go and dispose of it first. On average, you have about 2,000 calories worth of sugar stored in the body. And we have on average about 40,000 calories of fat stored on the body. It's a whole lot more, right? You can deplete the sugar stores pretty quickly obviously, but our bodies run better on fat and have the ability to do that long term, as you can see. Although insulin is meant to open up the cells so that they can receive nutrients, it can also be viewed as a detoxifier hormone. So running your body on ketones, which is the byproduct of fat burning, is going to be a whole lot cleaner. It uses less oxygen, it's less stressful on the body, and there's less waste in the body from burning ketones. 
Can you run your body at 100% on ketones? No. 85% of the body can run on ketones, but about 15% does have to have glucose. You're looking at certain parts of the brain, the outside of the kidneys, the lens of the eye, red blood cells, and sperm are where glucose is going to be needed. The cool thing is, you don't have to consume carbs though. Your body has a process you may have heard of before called gluconeogenesis. This is where it takes proteins and fats and turns them into glucose for the body to use. So just a quick recap before I wrap this up. Insulin resistance is the mechanism that we possess in our bodies to keep the high, toxic, excessive levels of sugar from invading our bodies. But remember, the more insulin resistant that you get, the more chance that that glucose is going to have of damaging other parts of your body because it's going to be circulating and going through your body a lot more, causing a lot of the uh, some of the problems that I talked about earlier. Excessive sugar, it'll rot you from the inside out. Our bodies are just not designed to run off of that high amount of glucose. This is why it's a great idea to get on a good keto and intermittent fasting plan. Start cutting the carbs and the sugars down in your diet. Get on one of those. Trust me, your body will thank you and you will thank yourself much from now when you start feeling a whole lot better and getting some of that excess weight off of you. I hope this has gave you a better understanding of what insulin resistance really is. If it did, make sure you give this video a like. Comment your questions or thoughts down below if you have any. If you're watching this on my YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so that you don't miss any of my new videos that are going to be coming out weekly now. Cheers to a happier, healthier you. I'll catch you guys later.